Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be looking at counter building of Fortnite Battle Royale. Now this tutorial is going to be pretty in depth and I want to cover the main areas of counter building without going into too much detail that isn't really needed. So first of all, I want to talk about what counter building is. Then we'll talk about some strategies with counter building. And then I'll show you guys a couple of ways you can counter build. Now I'm going to list them all up on the screen now for the timestamps for if you guys want to go to a selected section. But if not, let's get into it. So for those of you that are new to Battle Royales, but more in particular, of Fortnite, you will have come across the idea of building to be quite weird. So pretty much if you haven't guessed it already, building in Fortnite is a must. Whether you're a brand new player or you're an expert of the game, building is essential for survival, aggression and getting kills and making sure that you're safe in certain situations. So counter building in a nutshell is either being able to play aggressively against a person or play defensively against a person. But let's be honest, if you guys aren't counter building or building in Fortnite nowadays, you're going to be a huge disadvantage when it comes to actually playing against good players. I mean, come on, it's 2018. If you're not building in Fortnite, you definitely should start learning. So in the background, you can see a few plays that I've collected of me building, counter building, and also just in general when things go wrong or probably go right as well. Now there's a couple of things I tend to do when I'm counter building to make sure that I get a good advantage on people. So pretty much you want to make sure your key binds are set up appropriately so that you can place a wall at any moment. The first thing you should definitely do when you're being shot at is build a wall. This will give you some time to assess what's going on and also give you a little bit more safety just in case you're low on health or there's multiple people. So as you can see on my keybinds, I've got Q set up for my wall. I have a mouse button for my stairs and I also have the middle mouse button to apply a platform. For traps and the little triangle thingy, which I don't think anyone uses, I don't have them pre-binded. I just use them when I need to. When you look to counter build, make sure you've got a lot of materials materials, but also understand how many materials you've got. If you don't have much, then maybe try and seek safety, but if you've got quite a lot, then you can play quite openly and aggressive. Each of these clips, my main objective is to get above the person. It's much easier being aggressive when you're above someone than it is beneath. You'll notice that as you play anyways, but that's just a basic tip. Now, what I tend to do as a big mistake is I tend to give away my height advantage by doing a big jump shot in. It looks really cool, but actually at the end of it, if you don't land that headshot and the person gets the higher ground, then you are going to be in danger. LOL Strategies wise, we're going to talk about some really easy ones to do. Now to start off with, when you counter build, you're probably not going to be playing too aggressively. You're probably actually going to be playing quite defensively to be fair. So here's a couple of things you can use. So if someone starts building above you, what you can do is either you can quickly try and outpace them by building against them so that you can get the higher ground. Or what you can do is build a wall and build a roof above your head so that you can be protected from any aerial attacks. On some occasions, I pretty much just build a box. So I can sit inside the box. I can edit the walls and I can figure out where I'm going to go from here because really good players in Fortnite tend to be really aggressive so you have to be quick on the ball to figure out where you need to go to stop the attack that's coming in. So a really easy thing to know is if someone's above you try and get shelter. If you're above someone else then you're in a better position. Now if you want to play aggressive there's the other technique. So instead of building a wall above your head to try and save you, you should build stairs going up, trying to get above the person. Just remember though, that if you build really high trying to get above someone, they'll probably end up shooting your foundations. So you could come straight down and smash your knees to bits, probably killing yourself with your own foot. So if you are going to build aggressively, make sure when you're building stairs, put in some walls as well. Like in this clip here, the guy starts trying to shoot me from his base, but because I've got a good amount of walls in there, it means I've got double protection so I can build quickly and drain his bullets. Now he does click onto this, hence the reason he stops shooting and tries to build a wall against me. But because I built so effectively and so quickly, I was able to jump into his little rabbit hole and smash his head to bits. So I'm just going to focus on this clip one more time. But I want you guys to just notice how I'm building up to this guy. Because I know he's quite high and if he shoots up my foundations, I'm probably going to take out quite a bit of full damage. So every time I build a stair and then I immediately build a wall in front of it. Now that wall that's in front is going to protect that staircase. This 
This is more an advanced tip. I see this being used by TSM Hamlins quite a lot. And in all honesty, it has worked really, really well. So if you guys do have enough materials to be able to do this, you should be absolutely trying to place that wall, especially when you're playing aggressive at quite a tall height, because this could save you some extra fall damage and probably buy you enough time to keep getting closer to the actual opponent. So for the last part of the tutorial, I just want to talk about some situations and break them down for how they could have gone better or how they actually worked. So during this clip here, I'm looking to try and find any other people, but because this person destroyed a giant tree in the distance, it meant I could actually see his location, which makes life a lot easier. So after looking at this guy's position, he's quite far away. So I've got to try and make sure I get a good enough ground on him so that I'm not just taking shots and wasting materials from quite a fair distance. He's probably going to have quite enough time to reload and actually get some health, so I need to try and remember that. But from here, I try to build over as fast as I can, try and see if I can get a good advantage on him and try and see if I can get some early shots on his location. Now this guy's actually pretty damn good because of the way he counter builded as well because he could see me counter building so he starts to counter as well now he placed that wall which meant i couldn't get the second shot off on him but he was able to try and get above which meant i was able to find him and actually shoot him in the head now in this situation this guy doesn't know where i am so because i see him in the distance and he's looting someone he's probably quite low because he's been in a fight so i try and take an aggressive approach on him whilst he's standing still but because he hasn't built himself a box around him or given himself some kind of safety just in case someone has seen him it means that he was really easy to pick off and like i assumed he didn't actually have much health either so earlier i was messing around with impulse grenades when i came across this one dude now what i wanted to do was throw an impulse grenade down go over towards him and shoot him in the end of a shotgun but this guy actually counter built really well and i just want you guys to notice on how he gets to a higher level to try and stop me from actually finding him so first of all he was very quick on building the wall which was awesome and then once i started trying to take out the walls to get to him he then started to build up higher now because he had height advantage i decided to get away by using the other impulse grenade and then try and make my way back in by building up to him and then building platforms above and over. Now that means I'm not building too high and it also means I can actually cover ground whilst above him. Now fortunately I did see there was another person nearby so I was kind of looking out for them but overall this was actually pretty damn good because this shows a really good counter build and also the aggressive counter build I'm always looking to play. Now this clip is a really good example of what you can do when you play aggressively because I like to play really aggressive and try not to play too defensive if I've got a lot of shield and health. I try to get the advantage on opponents as quick as I can. So I already know there's someone over here because I've heard some gunshots. Hence the reason I build out of a platform in case someone's beneath me and they try shooting it out. After noticing where the guy was, I immediately started to go for an attack. So because he started to build this little tower going upwards, I decided to build up and over. I wanted to get behind him and see if he built a roof, which he hadn't, which meant that when I dropped down, he was completely open. He also had no idea where I was, which you can obviously tell because he had no idea where to build to. Now what this guy should have done was then he started seeing me build above him he should have gone to look for the staircase and a platform above him he should have then sealed himself inside a wall and maybe try and look for either an escape route or try and counter play me so if he'd have played a little bit more defensively when i was building above then he might have actually been able to have defended himself for a little bit longer but instead he got completely confused and just allowed me to clean up the kill so for the last scene here this is me playing aggressively and also counter building against another player so i've already built up to this guy's platform to try and see if i could take him out. He built out by building a staircase above my head and because he was then above me I then decided to box myself in. This allowed me to reload my guns and also assess whether I needed to take any shields on board or any health. Now I have a nice little trick where I edit the wall and you can basically see straight through it and they can't see in. So the guy on the outside is literally trying to get inside the wall to place his trap. Now you'll notice this as I pop out and start taking a few whiff shots at him that he places the trap inside so I'm never going to go back in there. But I also know there's a guy nearby who's taking shots at us as well so we have to be careful of him so after doing my main objective which was to take out the dude immediately next to me i then started to build around myself and above myself so that if anyone was coming over or counter building in they would have to go for a few walls which meant i could potentially take out the trap and go back inside or try and seek safety elsewhere and try and heal up now fortunately i hadn't taken any damage so i was actually in a really nice position to then kind of reassess the situation but after i started going out i knew there was a guy on my left hand side towards the bridge so i was immediately always looking to play that defense of strategy. So after this guy got out his first shot, I immediately built as many walls as possible and the staircase as well because it gives me a slight angle. Now once he stopped shooting and I had a bit of decent cover, I immediately went for the minis because you can get 50 shield really quickly, whereas the full med kit takes a long time.
time. Now, I was pretty happy with how I played this. The only other thing I could have done was box myself in completely and maybe build a load of walls to try and distract him. But I didn't have that many materials, which is an always a disadvantage if you don't have many materials. So I took out his foundation, hoping he'd take quite a bit of fall damage, then tried to finish him with a shotgun. But I only hit 56 on him for a shield, and he pretty much cleaned me up. But it just goes to show during this moment how important those walls were because they almost gave me a good advantage to actually heal all the way up. So hopefully you guys have taken something from this video. In all honesty, I can only give you guys some simple ideas on what you can work with in certain situations. But the best thing for you guys to do is to just do it. The hardest parts for me learning this were trying to put down the platform and also trying to do the wall and stair thing that I had to learn. But in all honesty, it is working out a lot better than I thought it was going to. And seriously, counter building is the way forward if you guys want to look to secure wins against weaker players. And also when you get the experienced players against you, you can start using these techniques against them. So if you guys are new to the channel and are just looking at this tutorial, feel free to leave a subscription. I do upload Fortnite videos every so often, not necessarily tutorials, just general gameplay and a bit of banter in between. But anyways, I'm going to leave that there and I'll see every single one of you in the next one.